Hi, this is Garth Holman. I'm back with uh, a transition to remote learning uh, from teachersfortomorrow.net. So we've built a few things with our website. We've built a home page with just some basic things, adding pictures, links. Um, we then created a second page in our last tutorial about how to add some resources, any kind of YouTube you wanted to put in. You could do your calendar if that's something. Um, and then a button. So we're going to focus on now on adding more of these a little more complicated things like docs and slides and sheets and forms. Um, I'm going to do the three I think are most important docs, slides, and forms. Um, obviously these tutorials are not meant to show you every possible thing you could do there to get you up and running. So I'm going to make a new page and I'm going to call this new page um, just uh, assessment. So Oh, whoops, if I spelled that right, but you get that. So um, I'm going to make an assessment. And so here's where I might have, let's say, some what I call knowledge checks. I want to add um, like a Google form to find out what the kids are thinking. So once I'm in my page, I can go to forms. What's really nice is Google automatically pulls up your drive and shows you what you have. So we have like Google test questions and we've got a variety of things, but I'm just going to put how can we help you? This is on our website to help you guys where you can leave questions or comments and we'll respond. That embeds it directly in your web page. Kids can fill it out and hit submit. Done. That's pretty easy to do. Another one we might want to do, which I think is very helpful, is slides. So when you go to slides, um, I can pick this slide, which is a little longer. Um, so I pick it and insert it and it's going to insert that slideshow. So now a slideshow um, that has, you know, it can, it's, I can't go through it, but I could set up some auto looping. So we'll do that so when it plays, um, you can kind of see what it's doing. So now it's kind of going to go. Um, when we publish, you won't see it now. So as, as much as I said this is a little bit harder, it's not really harder. It's just knowing how to do these things, which we have tutorials to show you how to build slideshows and how to do things. Um, I think that if you can add pages, right, um, and you understand this is your text and this is embed, we're not going to do too much embed, that's code that you'd have to pay a little more attention to, but it's not too tricky. Images and then your drive. Your drive will let you access your entire drive so you can put anything in you want. It breaks it down down here. Do you want a form or a, you know, a form? And then it only finds those. So it makes it simpler for you than going to your drive and searching through everything. I know I built a form I want the kids to do to get feedback from them. What are they thinking? At this point, we've pretty much, if you start to look at this, we've added images and links. So we've got links that take the kids somewhere else. So we can give them readings. We can um, give them that kind of thing. Um, on the second page, we added um, a YouTube. So now we can have them watch a variety of videos we want them to watch about content. We added a calendar, which means we could be posting what we expect them to be doing daily, and that will appear up here. Um, and then we added a button to take them somewhere else. Then on our assessment page, we gave them, hey, here's a form you need to fill out. And that's, um, and then a slideshow where they can learn from content. You know, you can have a slideshow con or content slideshow that they can look at. To be honest, I'd never have it looping, but just to show you the looping. So that's it for how to add forms and um, slides.